When we got to school the first day, that was my first time in boarding school. Everything looked very confusing to me. But I had a number of uh, mates who had already been in boarding school from primary uh, at Sachimota uh, Preparatory Primary uh, School, actually. And so they would always go on about how, oh, but this is okay. We're used to it because we used to wake up at 4 a.m. anyway. So waking up that early is not a problem. Why are you complaining? And I had to learn a few things from them. And I realized that, well, it wasn't so bad to actually go to primary school, uh, boarding school and just take it from that point onwards. But really, it's about the parents and what they think is right for their child. And so if you're that parent who's been looking for a boarding opportunity for your child, and maybe you've seen the options available in Ghana, you're not sure those are the ones you want to enroll your child in, and you're looking for a school outside, probably uh, the UK, then this conversation is is for you there's an exhibition that's happening on saturday and we have some heads of institutions boarding schools from the uk who are here in ghana and they would like love to meet you and have that conversation with you and see if just maybe you'd be interested in enrolling your child in their school and they're here with me on the set and so let me introduce them quickly and we'll tell you more about it and so first off i have sarah sparlin and she's the director for anderson education and they are the organizers of the this exhibition. Good to have you in Ghana. Kwaba. Thank you. Divya so, Anderson Education and Mark Brooks Education are organizing the exhibition <laughs> in Ghana this weekend. Oh, hold on, I was asking you something in the local language, but I think you didn't get it. So when I said Bibia Boko, welcome. Bibia Boko means, Thank you. is everything okay? Thank you. So just say I. Ein. I exactly. Ein. So that's tree. <laughs> We'll get into the conversation <laughs> shortly. But also Henrietta Lightwood is the group, group director, uh, marketing and admissions for Cardiff Sixth Form College. Thank you. Good to have you in Ghana as well. Thank you. For How are you doing? Time. Really enjoying it. It's wonderful. We arrived last night. This okay. is my second time in Garden. In fact, oh, some of okay. us have been here a couple of times before. Um, but it's a fantastic country. We've yeah. had some just gorgeous students. Oh, that's come. lovely. It's her first time in Ghana, by the way. <laughs> and that is Kathy Crew Reed. She's the head of Bishop Stop Forward uh, College. Good to have you. How are you enjoying the, the space so far? Yeah, amazing so far. It looked beautiful flying in at night last night. Okay. Um, looking forward to seeing it in daylight when we finish this morning. Yeah. But so you haven't even gone anywhere else yet? Nowhere at Not all yet. yet what are you looking forward to doing this time before? I We've mean... got some time on Sunday, so we hope to learn a little bit more about the culture. Yeah. Um, try some of the food. And just get to see the place. I'll teach you a few dances before you go. Yes. Do like do do and bo -bo -bo. Be you, you, yeah. you like to shake your waist? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so yeah. we'll do it on the show before you go. But again, welcome, welcome, welcome. And let's talk about this exhibition. First of all, why is there a need to even have an exhibition like this? It's, it's to give the families in Ghana an option. Of course, mm. there are schools, there are boarding schools, good schools in Ghana. Mm. But many of the parents we find have been to boarding school in the UK and they want the same opportunities for their children. So by bringing the schools into the country, we've got heads and representatives of 12 schools. Mm. The families can come along, entry three, talk to the schools and just find out about the about boarding school life, the many opportunities, okay. where the schools are, they're all a little bit different. I can imagine how many schools are on board. Well, there's a lot, okay. um, but it's better to keep it small, particularly after the last two years that we've been through. Okay. Um, but it's just a great opportunity that the schools are here for the families to talk to. Um, and it's at the Kapinski Gold Coast Hotel okay. on Saturday the 7th from 11 till 4. But the question would be then for a lot of parents, the number of boarding schools in Ghana very good boarding school. So why should I choose one in the UK? And I'll still speak to you briefly before I go to them because you're still the organised anyway. I think, that, um, I think that your child's education is such an important decision and that you, you're you better to look at the bigger picture and look at all the opportunities before mm. you focus down. Um, and many of the parents were at boarding school in the UK. Mm. So they, they know a lot about it. Okay. But Henrietta, I'm sure you have quite a number of Ghanaian students in your institution. We have some lovely Ghanaian students. I think probably one of the reasons why people come is quite often they're also looking for their children to go to UK or US university. Mm -hmm. And they actually want to, go, they want to go somewhere which is kind of safe and which is secure where they kind of slightly younger children mm -hmm. can come. They're looked after in a boarding school type environment where we've got very good pastoral care in the UK, kind of lots of experience. Yeah. And we're really trying to kind of give them skills. Yeah. So it's not just about the education and the academics. It's the all-round skills, things they need to go forward into, you know, kind of 21st century life. So, you know, with its leadership skills, it's yeah. things like kind of critical thinking. It's all those very different skills which are going to help them going forward and actually 
letting the children go, which sometimes is really difficult yeah. for parents because, you know, they're, they're, they're very precious, our children. Mm -hmm. I have children myself. I know how difficult it is. And I sent mine exactly. away at sixth form. Oh, you well. have? Yes, I did. That must have yeah. been the toughest decision to me. It was, but sometimes I think as a parent, you make those very difficult decisions, don't you, where you think, um, what's the best thing mm -hmm. for my son or daughter really and my daughter she needed to go somewhere where you know she could really express herself creatively and okay. I'm sure for all parents it's you know if your son or daughter wants to be a doctor where can I go that's going to give them the best academic mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you know kind of environment that will help them do that and so if a parent should come and ask you that so why should I choose your school in particular yeah. what would you say well Cardiff is the top academic school in the UK so really students come to us who want to do those very professional qualifications whether mm -hmm. it's you know economics, whether it's medicine, um, you know, whether it's law, whether it's accounting, and they're looking to go to places like Oxford and Cambridge, London School of Economics, sometimes to the top American universities, and they really come to me, mm -hmm. I think, in, in, well, Cardiff Sixth Form College, as a place where they can really kind of prepare mm. to go on and actually have the right qualifications, the right skills, the right work experience to get the place, which all is that, very competitive. All that in one, and there are a lot of schools that you can choose from as well, so Kathy is here and she'll tell us a bit more about his. I'm sure you have Ghanaian students in your school as well. Yeah. Uh, we've, oh, we're do? about 10% West African. We're a Is large, it? large school. I see. Um, uh, How easy or difficult has it been for these African students to adapt to that new environment? Yeah, they, they fit in really, really well. We've got a lot of induction procedures to make sure that um, we're listening to our students and meeting their needs. Mm -hmm. And um, as Henrietta said, the pastoral care is brilliant. And, and there are ways these days of measuring pastoral care and how happy children are. And we take all of those really seriously because happy children go on and of do course. well. And, and I think another thing that's important and, and means that, that your children um, can do well in our schools is, is that we get into dialogue with the parents and part of this trip is so we can meet families mm -hmm. because education is at its strongest when we walk in when schools work in partnership with parents and want the same things for the young people so so these opportunities to actually connect okay. with, with, with potential parents for our schools are really important what's been the success rate for some of these African students as well in your school if you could even cite one example of someone who's gone through the system and has got into the very top uh, the pinnacle of whatever career it is that they want and you're so proud about it we, we, we've got a guy called Nana at the moment who's okay. actually from Nigeria, not, not um, Ghana, and he's just starred in his first Netflix series. <sighs> So he, oh. he was star in our musical as well last term, but I think you're probably more interested in Netflix. Yeah. So, um, okay. and, and, and that shows, I suppose, that I mean, one of the things people say about our schools, and I know everyone would say the same, is that we enable children to find what they're good at, and, and, and then we give them opportunities to flourish mm -hmm. in that area. And I think Nana's a perfect example, mm -hmm. um, because we'd set ourselves up as a really academic school, yeah. yet he's flourished in drama mm -hmm. and, and, and gone on and done brilliantly. And we've just adapted the curriculum around him, so he can do all of his filming and we can support with the right amount of okay. academic and pastoral care to enable his, his dreams to come true. Is this more about just getting the results? As a, as a school, as an institution, or is there more to it? Um, oh, definitely much more to okay. it. Um, it, so, uh, it. And it depends. Schools have different strengths. So yeah. you have some schools which are particularly wonderful at sport, for instance, and you have some schools which are very, very academic. Mm -hmm. It just depends. But really, that's not what makes the success of a child, yeah. actually. It's not just about getting exam, you know, exam results. Yes, they're important when you're applying to university, very definitely. But more important, really, is your resilience, your character building, your mm -hmm. maturity. And those kind of things, boarding schools are very, very good at and in many ways you know, going away and actually having the space to grow to mm -hmm. breathe as a person is really really important yeah and it's I think it's one of the strengths how, um, for, for, for West African children particularly. I know but how do you manage when there are kids who can't seem to assimilate because I'm sure there are challenges like that as well it's all about it can't be easy it's all about communication. So okay. you work with students individually, yeah. very definitely. It's a lot of kind of talking. It's a lot of trying to sort things out. It's a lot of setting things up. We're, we're working out if there's any friendship issues. Sometimes there are issues in yeah. schools quite naturally, yeah. as they would be in any school mm -hmm. all over the world. Mm -hmm. And you have to kind of help people and work with them and work with the parents, you know, definitely as Cathy was saying beforehand, you know, it's very much a joint situation exactly. um, and, and, and really, really important to, to do that. Thank you. Sorry, can I, can I butt in there? Yeah, the other ahead. thing that's really important is, is the communities that, that the children come into in our schools because we have to teach them to look out for each other mm. as well. And, and you know what Henrietta said is true. Um, 
parents can expect brilliant results from yeah, our schools. Yeah, That's what absolutely. we do as a matter of course. But, but actually, the, the most important journey for the children in our schools is learning how to be humans in, in this world mm -hmm. and learning how to do being human well. And, and that's about how they interact with each other and interact with the world um, and, and interact with, with their yeah. communities. Mm -hmm. So I can you shortly, so you can break it down further, what exactly to expect at the event tomorrow. But even before that, let's talk COVID and how it disrupted lives. And of course, students were also gravely affected by COVID. A number of them had to be home for a very long time. Yeah. Resuming school came with a number of restrictions and all of that. For these boarding schools, how did you manage and how did this affect the kids? Well, it was it was very interesting. I mean, obviously, you know, when in, in March 2020, um, it went lockdown. Everyone kind of went home for a bit, for instance. We had to immediately go and retrain our teachers on how to completely teach online. You know, we've got some amazing teachers, but they'd never had to do this before. Yeah. So we had to go into huge training as, as schools mm. and actually support people. And I think what the independent schools and the boarding schools were brilliant at is that they really went into this kind of full throttle. And so we were teaching live lessons online right mm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And actually by September, we had everybody ah. back with us. So we've been teaching completely um, and going up and down kind of through the restrictions and balancing it. But having children in the classroom being taught by mm. live teachers in you know working together you know yeah. being you know socially being together to stop you know the kind of big kind of isolation problems mm -hmm. that happen to many children all over the world i think it's been absolutely vital what do you think absolutely Catherine? well let, let me come to sarah uh, my time is up we'll have to go but sarah tell me a bit more about tomorrow and what to expect briefly before we wrap up okay so families can just register on arrival at the kapinski hotel Mm. Um, they can talk to Mark or I if they need a little bit of help or guidance and what they're looking for because each school is very different and each individual child is very different. We've talked a lot about the academic schools but there also there are schools that are strong in music, okay. sport, children that need mm -hmm. some learning support, children that would be suitable to a small environment mm. rather than a big school. Mm. Um, so we're there to help the families with that. Um, and then, just as I said, a great opportunity to talk to the schools um, and find out what they have to offer and what the process is, the next steps mm. once you've found a school. Okay, so you have to be there tomorrow. It starts at what time? It's between 11 o'clock and 4 o'clock. At the Kempinski Gold Coast Hotel um, in Accra. So please be there and make sure to register so you can get all the details you need for your child. And these people will be here, of course, to give you that information, to take very good care of your wards if you happen to choose the institution where they head. Thank you so much for speaking to us this morning. Thank I wish you. you the best tomorrow. Thank and please you. enjoy Ghana. Thank Eat you. some Thank food you very and much. Baku. And I'm going to teach you this bobobo. So in fact, let's get up and do it so we can wrap up. So how's bobobo again? Is bobobo this one? <laughs> okay. ABCD. So at a point, you have to go. So <laughs> you can shake it much better you, though. Yeah, <laughs> right, you, can, you can still learn it anyway. Oh, producer, I thought you'd give me a beat. Anyway, <laughs> Jonesa is here. He's been nominated for Artiste of the Year VGMA's weekend. It starts tonight. So look forward to it. We'll have that conversation when we get back. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. All right, cool. <laughs>